Alright, so let's say you just started Save the World and you have no clue what you're doing. I mean, <laughs> why else would you be here? Even though I'm pretty sure like a millions of Save the World YouTubers have already posted videos about this, I'm sure there's one person that wants me to upload a video like this, so I guess let's get started. When you start the game, you'll notice that there's four classes of heroes. You have soldiers, constructors, ninjas, and last but not least, outlanders. But we are going to start on what soldiers are capable of and what their abilities are. No matter what soldier you use, they always have the same class perks, suppress a fire and stay frosty. You can pause the video to read this. And currently in the game there are five soldier abilities, and they consist of War Cry, Lefty and Righty, Grenades, Shockwave, and last but not least Gone Commando. Those are all the soldier abilities. Keep in mind that they mainly specialize in assault rifles and shotguns though. Let us move on to the constructor abilities. And no matter what constructor you use, they always have kinetic overload and a base. Constructor abilities consist of decoy, plasma pulse, bull rush, Rosie, which is a sentry turret that I personally wouldn't recommend using and go and constructor. Now there's one thing that a lot of beginners pass up on when they use constructors is that they do not know that there's base. Base is very important when it comes to base building because not only will it uh, make your base stronger, you can also make it to where it gives your base extra health. So I have an example house right here, 314 health, while this one has 245 health. So right now we are at the house that has that doesn't have base, and we're going to see how much damage this husk does. Alright, so about 6 damage. Yeah, 6 damage, nice. Alright. And let's go to the house that does have base. If you could follow me. It does 3 damage. Well, then you're healed, but yeah. So, base also gives armor to structures, so husks can do less damage when they attack it. And that's all the constructors for you. Now let's move on to the ninjas. These are the ninjas class perks, Mantis Leap, and Shadow Stance. And now let me show you every ability that ninjas could have in the game currently. Currently in the game, there are five ninja abilities. Throwing Stars, Dragon Slash, Crescent Kick, Smoke Bomb, and last but not least, Kunai Storm. Ninjas have the ability to double jump, or Shadow Stance, which can only be triggered once you get in melee elimination. And the sole purpose of Shadow Stance is it'll give you armor so you take less damage from melee attacks from husks. And now let's get to the last class of heroes, Outlanders. Outlanders currently in the game only have four abilities. Teddy, Face Shift, which teleports you in a certain direction, Shock Tower, and Seismic Smash. Each Outlander will have Anti-Material Charge, In the Zone, and Loot Llama. One of the things that makes Outlanders different from many others is that they can actually collect these charge fragments that are found throughout the map to up their abilities. This can power up Teddy and Shock Tower. And the way you trigger Loot Llama, you have to collect a Llama Fragment, which is also spread it around the map as well. If you collect it, it'll turn into a Llama, and all you have to do is break it. And once you break it, you get a bunch of materials and a few crafting materials that you could use. Outlanders also have Anti-Material Charge, which is activated when you use the L2 button on your controller. It'll instantly destroy any object you hit, and you instantly get the mats for it. So obviously, Outlanders are mainly for farming materials. And that basically sums up all of the heroes in this entire video. Obviously, soldiers are used for dealing damage. Constructors are obviously used for building and constructing things. Ninjas are based on crowd control. And Outlanders are mostly used for farming. 
do be aware that each hero has a different set amount of health. Ninjas have the least amount of health, while constructors have the highest amount of health in the game. And that's all you need to know about the heroes in Save the World. Do tell me what you think are the best heroes in Save the World, and that's all I wanted to talk about today. Have a good night, guys.